Hello. If you're uh, on a budget order file and if you hunt for used stylus on eBay or at flea markets, you may come across to a stylus that uh, and cartridge you don't know the history. In this case, uh, what you need to do is you have to align it to the best of your abilities, but what you don't know is the output of the cartridge. Usually some tools are available like the software and measurement gear over eBay, but they are mostly more expensive than the stylus itself for some cases. For example, this TSD-15 was available for 100 euros on a flea market, so anything that you are going to get to align it from eBay will be at least triple more expensive than the cartridge. On the other hand, I would like to share something that I have figured out from watching some YouTube videos doing uh, some people repairing some vintage equipment. And uh, I think I connect two those together, uh, which may help everybody so that I'm sharing this video. In order to be able to use this tool, you need a measurement LP. Like, um, an LP that has at least one stereo channel that uh, generates equal loudness for two tracks. So uh, the band 7A in this case, the letter reference tone at 1 kHz is a good example of that. So the innermost track of this record uh, does have two stereo channels with the same amplitude. So what we are going to do now is to uh, go and familiarize ourselves with the tool that I'm going to use and uh, what it brings to the party. I watch some YouTubers while they are attending to symmetric power supplies and um, other calibration tools. Uh, they are using this BK Precision Dual Channel AC Voltmeter uh, 297. So, what is so special about uh, this voltmeter is uh, it has two indicators on the same working on the same scale. And uh, since this is a um, measurement tool, it has a wide range of um, measurement voltages that uh, can even cover the uh, low voltage levels of a uh, cartridge like the TSD-15 and uh, the channels are conveniently uh, marked as black and red so that we can follow uh, which channel is doing what independently so it has two um, PNC inputs that you can convert it into RCA jacks and uh, what is more importantly there is a ground uh, at the back uh, like the ground of a phono input of an amplifier where you can connect the cartridge or the turntables ground so what we are going to do now we are going to play the track and see uh, the alignment of the cartridge and at the end of the alignment we are going to see how um, tilted the cartridge is on the on the record player. Okay, now the voltmeter is on. The cartridge is aligned on the track, and it has been on for a while now, so that uh, the noise floor has settled quite a lot. Before uh, I start using this. Uh, voltmeter I have checked with the known signal source that the both indicators are showing the same voltage uh, for the same input. After that uh, I connected the, um, the output of the cartridge to the voltmeter's input. So you see that there is a small amount of noise. Uh, the indicators are not showing all the way to zero. But the important bit is when it starts playing. 
So I'm going to slowly drop the needle into the groove and see what happens. So I think we are in the previous track and let's wait for the track to end and yes. You can see the needles are almost on top of each other because um, this is the result of three hours straight being patient and twil uh, tweaking the cartridge a little bit to the right to the left to be able to generate the same signal on both channels. So what as a successful alignment of the cartridge you should be able to see this. And when you are at this stage you start enjoying your music but um, let's see how the cartridge actually looks if you were to align it geometrically uh, parallel to the to the record so i'm going to drop the cartridge on the record and we are going to see how parallel it is to the record As you see, there is a geometrical problem with the uh, cartridge being parallel to the record. So if you had something like this, you would be always having a channel misbalance between stereo channels. But when you have a voltmeter that shows you exactly the output, then you know your stereo image will be that centered. So I hope this helps and the 297s are up for grabs for $50 or less. So good hunting. <laughs>